Hey folks, welcome back once again to Harley Day Rider. Good old HDR with you. Here on a lovely Monday evening. It is about, well, Monday evening, early evening. It's about 4 p.m. I didn't ride to work this morning. I kind of whipped out. It was 45 degrees. I'm like, eh. You know, and normally I could do it. And I was like, should you do it or should you just jump in the jump in the cage and turn the heater on so I jumped in the cage turned the heater on flipped on the electric seat turned the seat warmer up there and it was just uh, a comfortable ride to work but uh, I did see one gentleman riding his motorcycle to work this morning so I felt bad it's like a brotherhood right if you see somebody else out there you should play been out there also but I was not so I got off work and I got home and I I haven't had the bike out for a while, you folks know that. We haven't uh, been riding a whole lot. Did some riding on the weekend though. Went to a thing called Thunder on the Strip. Now Thunder on the Strip is uh, in Erie, but it's in the Ohio side of Erie. And it's in a place called Geneva on the Lake. And Geneva on the Lake is a very, very uh, nice place. Uh, even uh, Mrs. HR said she'd like to go up for some time when it's uh, warmer and uh, take a little uh, ride up back up to Geneva on the Lake. It's a beautiful place. It's right on Lake Erie, like I said, on the Ohio side. And uh, we ate at a restaurant where you can go right over to the lake. I did record for you. I didn't record a lot of this camera, obviously, but I did record for you some uh, some video off of my uh, Sony A6000. Now that's a uh, mirrorless uh, DSLR camera, and uh, I did record some video off of there. So I, I haven't even looked at this video yet until I'm including it with this video. So let's go ahead now. We're going to cut over. And uh, give you a couple video clips here from um, from the uh, bike rally over the weekend. Again, it was called Thunder on the Strip, and uh, like I said, it was a good time. So here's here's the first little clip right here. Okay, well, that was a few clips I had for you of the bike rally. Man, it's getting like, it's funny because it's not even 5 o'clock yet. You can see it's already in these trees anyway. It's starting to get really dark quicker than it was uh, through the summer months. Yeah, so that was some clips there from the uh, motorcycle rally. Thunder on the Strip at Geneva on the Lake. Uh, myself and Mrs. H.R. had a really good time. One thing I can tell you about a motorcycle rally, and I don't understand why, why the cost of beer has to go up by like uh, $3. No lie, I bought a can of beer, and Mrs. HR had a bottle of beer. Now this is not imports or anything fancy. I had a Yangling, and she had a, um, uh, a Samuel Adams October Fest. It was $10 for the two beers. Now I don't know why it has to be that expensive, I, I kind of believe it's to make people not get drunk. You know, it kind of makes you not buy a lot of beer and get drunk on it. It's kind of what I believe uh, maybe they're doing. Kind of controlling the, uh, kind of controlling the uh, intake of the alcohol. But, uh, but uh, anyway, the, uh, yeah. When we were first pulling into town, it was kind of sad. I didn't get any, uh, I, well, I wouldn't take pictures of it, but there was a fire truck and an ambulance and everything, and Mrs. H. was like, oh, no, I hope that's not a biker. And it was. Some guy was laying on the road. I'm talking, like, in a very low-speed area. I don't know if somebody pulled out in front of him. It happened before we got there, obviously, but it's just always sad to see a biker go down and be laying on the road getting put in a stretcher. Uh, so hopefully uh, the prayers are out with him, and hopefully he didn't get uh, 
he or she didn't get too banged up and uh, hopefully they will once again ride again so uh, we hope uh, we haven't seen we didn't see anything other than that uh, that way anyway bad uh, we did actually see and mrs. HDR pointed this out two of the oh I can't say it that way two of the most disgusting nah, I shouldn't say it that way either two of the most hideous looking no we seen two <laughs> Two women, you know how they have like booth babes or bike babes, you know, showing off your product or something. They had these two, I don't know, very scary looking women. Girls, younger, not girls, I mean, probably in their 20s and 30s. And, uh, whoo! <laughs> uh, even Mrs. HCR made a comment, she goes, I hope that they paid the guy so they could dance there. I hope he didn't pay them. Uh, and that's pretty sad to say, but they were pretty scary. Now, I told them that at work today, and they said, well, it did its job, didn't you? And I said, what was his job? She said, uh, you noticed the booth, right? And I said, yeah, I guess so. You're right. You know? Wow. Anyway, and I don't have any film of them. No footage. But, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't understand why they were there. I, I just don't know. So yeah, we had a pretty good time this weekend. Uh, we went up, actually, we went Saturday we went up. And uh, we went in there Saturday and we came home Sunday. Sunday we did, Saturday we actually, we ate at this place up there. It's called the Firehouse Winery. Now, I had a burger and Mrs. HDR had a burger. She had the Flaming Firehouse Jalapeno Burger or something. And I had the Western Burger. Now mine had onion rings on it and barbecue sauce. It was very tasty and it was very good. Hers was a plain burger with some jalapeno peppers thrown on top of it with a piece of hot pepper cheese not even melted. And she was uh, pretty pissed. And uh, Mrs. HDR does not get upset too much with food, but uh, we ate it. I mean, it was okay. She did get ketchup to put on because it was a dry hamburger, which was kind of weird. So we ate the burgers, and um, it couldn't have been two hours later. She was starting to complain about a stomach ache, and she had stomach pains all night from it. Uh, we believe it was from the burger anyway. So went back to the room. Well, we got to our hotel anyway. We, you know, we booked a hotel room. So we got to the hotel room, and we... Uh, got in there and she lay down on the bed pretty much passed out she slept until about 7 30 or 8 o'clock so uh, she got up she felt a little bit better but she didn't want to eat any dinner uh, I did go out and buy a little bit of dinner for myself she just wanted pretzels and uh, ginger ale and you, you know how that is when you want pretzels and ginger ale uh, next morning she woke up we went to have breakfast she was fine so it's just been something didn't agree with her with that burger, but like I said, I can't say the place was bad by any means. Uh, they have one beer there that they brew themselves, which was very good, and I recommend it. And uh, that, that's that. I mean, uh, so yeah, I'm not saying I wouldn't recommend it go there, and, but I would say don't have the jalapeno burger. Stay away from that one. All right, folks. Well, hopefully everybody's getting some good weather here to ride. Like I said, I didn't ride to work today, and I may ride to work tomorrow. They're calling for uh, Irma, and if you're in the Irma area, our prayers are out for you folks down there. And uh, uh, hopefully, uh, you know, God is looking over you, I'm sure. You know, stay safe and stay out of that. They talk about the surge and all the wind and the tornadoes. and Stay safe, my God, you know, be, be careful out there, folks need help go seek it out because seek out the shelter and be safe that's the big thing but uh, yeah so Irma's was supposed to be touching us on Wednesday uh, so they're telling us and uh, we're gonna be getting some rain on Wednesday so I am going to try to ride to work probably tomorrow because it's supposed to be 60 degrees in the morning I can deal with that all right well like I said hopefully everybody's doing all right Hopefully you enjoyed my couple little video clips there. Take care, everybody. And, uh
remember as always, ride your own ride. Be safe out there. Take care of yourself. And you know, if you ever see a biker on the side of the road and you think they're in need, or, or even if they're just by themselves and they're pulled over the side of the road, take a minute, slow down and stop. You know, never leave a biker behind. Never leave a, a friend behind there. So, I think that's what I wanted to say. All right. So take care. I will talk to you next time. I'm going to enjoy the rest of this ride. And I'll uh, see you on the next one. Harley Day Ride is going to be down and out here in the lovely southwestern Pennsylvania. As you see on this side, rolling mountains. Rolling hillsides. As you see on that side, rolling hillsides. Still kind of green, but changing. We see some leaves changing on those trees down there. As well as here. Take care. Talk to you next time. Bye-bye for now.